Hey, how's it going? My name is Joe Allen, I'm an independent creative, and today I've got some tips on Photoshop usage that I want to share with everyone. Now, Photoshop's a tool that I use every single day when I'm doing my design and photo work, and I'm always looking to find better and easier ways of doing things, especially when it makes it quicker. So here are my top five tips. So my first one is a quick way of renaming layers. If you're working on really complex designs or mock-ups of some sort, you're bound to have a hundred, if not maybe even a thousand different layers. If none of those are named, you're gonna really struggle to open those in the future. Not only that, if someone else is using them, they need to know how this document works. So with that, you need to make sure you rename every single layer. A quick way of renaming a layer is to apply a keyboard shortcut to it. So you can go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and then find Layer, Rename Layer, and give it a shortcut. I like Command Option L, it's very easy to do on the keyboard. And then when you're in a document, you've got a layer selected, press Command Option L, start typing a new layer, hit Enter, and you've done. It's by far much quicker than double clicking on the layer and sometimes fumbling and ending up with the layer effects window, closing that, double clicking again, only for the layer effects window to open up once more. At least this way is quicker than just double clicking in the layer and typing something. You can do a keyboard shortcut, nice and simple. Whilst on the topic of renaming layers, here is tip number two. When you're renaming a layer and you've got a whole bunch of other ones to rename as well, just press tab when you finish typing something and it will jump to the next one just like you're doing a form in a web browser. It makes it very easy to just go through a whole batch of them and nice and simple, very quick. When copying new layers and adding layer effects, Photoshop does a few default features that are kind of annoying for me. If you head to the Layers Palette Flyout window and then go down to Panel Options, you can disable adding default masks on color layers, expanding new effects, which is when you apply something, it adds that little area with the new effect, and adding the word copy to duplicated layers. Now that last one is quite a big one. The amount of times I've opened up a document and it just says something like Layer 2, Copy 1, Layer 2, Copy 3, Layer 3, Copy copy. It's really annoying when you duplicate something and it just adds the word copy. I don't need to know that this is button copy 2. I just need to know it's a button. By disabling that, when I duplicate a button, all I'm going to get is the word button. Likewise for any other layer. It's really very handy. Your colleagues will thank you for it and it's one less layer to rename. Whenever I'm using Photoshop, I always make sure that my layers and layer groups follow a logical order from top to bottom depending on how they're read through the page. Given the fact that some layers do need to be below others, you can discount those, but generally the idea is that you keep layers from a top to bottom hierarchy, that way you know that the top header image is going to be at the top of the layer stack, and then your other items follow below. That being said, when you generally duplicate a layer, it actually goes above. If you were to create a document from the top to bottom, as you go and duplicate things, things end up being above, even though you're actually designing things from top to bottom. So what I've done is I've created an action which duplicates below. Now the way that that works is you just go into your actions panel, create a new action, give it a name, give it a shortcut, and then hit record. Now it's recording all of your actions that you're currently doing. You go to layer, duplicate layer, then go to layer, arrange, send backward. Then you can hit stop on the actions window and you've got your new action for duplicate below. Next time you want to duplicate something, hit your function shortcut and your object will duplicate below instead of above. That way you can keep things in the order that they need to be logically from top to bottom as you create your document. My final tip is when you've got an extremely complex document and you've got layers everywhere and you really don't actually know where things are and how they're organized or say you've picked up a document from someone else and you've actually got no idea how it functions. If you want to edit a particular layer and you can't find it in the layer stack, just right click on your canvas over the area that you want and then it comes out with the flyout menu and it will have the one selected that you need to edit. You can then click on that and it will select your layer in the layers palette and there you are. Good to edit. Go and move, edit, do what you want. And here's a bonus tip for you. If you're working in such a huge document that you can't find the layer, you're probably also going to have layers open and closed all over the place. If you want to close things down to the very root group, just hold the option key as you click the arrow that closes the group and it will close everything inside it. That closes internal groups, internal layer effects, and anything that's just open and messy. 
It's always a good idea, by the way, to do this before you save the document so that the next time it's opened, either by you or someone else, it will be nice and tidy and fresh as a daisy. All right, so those are my top five Photoshop efficiency tips, plus the bonus one, that one came in as a treat. If you enjoyed this video, go and check out the rest of my channel. I've got a few other Photoshop tutorials as well as some creative content that you might enjoy. Make sure to check out my social networks, subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, see you later.